Greetings and a welcome back. In today's featured presentation, we want to ask you a hypothetical question. If each Black Panther character pledged a Black fraternity or sorority, which would it be? Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we celebrate Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Marvel's blockbuster superhero movie has a virtually all-black cast, a black director, a black soundtrack, and a black African storyline. The film depicts the beauty, genius, courage, and compassion of Africans in their diaspora, as well as the trauma with which so many continue to grapple. It answers the question, what would Africa look like if it had escaped the ravages of colonialism, the slave trade, and the plundering of its resources? It provocatively asks what should be done to set things right. But let's have a little fun with another question, inspired by Lawrence Ware of TheRoot.com. He was nagged with a tempting hypothetical, and this may be a question that many Black fraternity and sorority members ask themselves through the course of watching this incredible film. If there was a Wakandan version of our Black fraternities and sororities, who would pledge what? For those of you who are unfamiliar with Black fraternities and sororities, at the undergrad level, they are African-American organizations that represent positive unity and brotherhood and sisterhood at both historically black colleges and universities, as well as primarily white colleges and universities. African-American tradition and community service are the cornerstones of each organization, and they undoubtedly hold a major and powerful voice on their campuses. But back to our comparison, we understand that everyone could see relatable characteristics and traits in all of these comic figures whether you are a member of the black fraternity slash sorority or not. However, remember that this is just an experiment for entertainment purposes, and this should not discourage you from seeing a bit of yourself in each of these powerful, heroic figures. In this original Black XLS video, we will present the hypothetical question, which black fraternity or sorority would the characters in Black Panther have pledged? So without further ado, let's get started. Nakia, ex-girlfriend and confidant, Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. The ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha are the prettiest girls on campus and are certainly the best dressed. They are smart, sophisticated, charismatic, and driven for success. And they seem to be romantically connected with either the star of the football or basketball team. These ladies have a serious attitude but have a long history of selfless community service. All things considered, Nakia would be an AKA. Nakia is beautiful, mysterious, and sports multiple stylish wardrobes. Nakia is adamant to use her abilities to help others. And when her loyalty to her country is questioned, she retorts that her mission is not to serve it, but to save it. She is a war dog spy with loyalty to the king, but refuses to commit romantically. Only an AKA could make a bazillionaire king walk around with his nose wide open. Okoye, leader of Dora Milaje, Delta Sigma Theta sorority. The ladies of Delta Sigma Theta are intellectuals but down to earth. They exude both confidence and pride. Deltas are not only involved in campus organizations, they run them. These sorority girls can never have enough paraphernalia and are deep-rooted in their traditions. These girls are true ride or die. All things considered, Okoye would be a Delta. Okoye is an intelligent, fierce warrior and brilliant tactician. She is the leader of the elite bodyguard unit assigned to the king. Okoye follows the Wakandan version of Robert's Rules of Order to the letter. A Wakandan general and traditionalist, Okoye isn't afraid to question her king, but she would defend him with her life. She wears red or sorority paraphernalia and is always with her line sisters, who are all collectively on a natural hair journey. Shuri, young sister, Sigma Gamma Rho sorority. The ladies of Sigma Gamma Rho are really sweet girls, but nerdy in a cute way. They are definitely the bookworms of the bunch and have the highest GPAs among the sororities. They are the type of girls you may not have noticed at first, but you soon wonder, where has she been? All things considered, Shuri would be an SG row. Shuri is the precocious little sister of King T'Challa and maybe the smartest person in the Marvel Universe. 
She is sarcastic, humorous, personable, but cool under pressure. It's obvious that Shuri pursued a degree in all things STEM, science, technology, engineering, or math. The young, unassuming princess of Wakanda knows how to steal the show. Ramonda, mother and trusted advisor. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. The ladies of Zeta Phi Beta are your grassroots earthly sisters who are most likely to wear braids or locks. They are nurturers and remind you of your mother in a complimentary way. Zetas have very eclectic personalities, old souls, and voices of wisdom. They are well-rounded ladies and roll deep everywhere they go. All things considered, Ramonda would be a Zeta. Ramonda, the regal and wise queen mother of Wakanda, is stylish and beautiful with her white dreads. She is T'Challa's closest advisor as he looks to her for insight on what his father would do in his situation. Ramonda reminds you of a seasoned sorority sister who visits the yard frequently to help keep the undergrad sisters in line. Plus, Ramonda made Black Panther that magic purple herbal juice from scratch. As we know, Zetas can cook. T'Challa, Black Panther and King. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. The brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha are ambitious, brainy, political-minded, and usually pursue leadership positions in student organizations like the SGA. These ice-cold brothers are not hyper-masculine, but certainly know how to dominate. Their friendships with women take precedence over relationships. They are openly affectionate and lean on the women around them. Of all fraternity members, they are the very talkative ones, and you are not surprised when they become career politicians. All things considered, T'Challa would be an alpha. T'Challa is empathetic, slightly nerdy, and is very diplomatic. The black and gold Black Panther suit is tailored just for him. But he is a little awkward around beautiful women. And let's not forget, he did freeze. Nonetheless, T'Challa has amazing relationships with the women in his life, mom, sister, girlfriend, and general. He is a true gentleman, a peacemaker, a man of integrity, and has ambitions to protect his people and help the world. We welcome your comments, thoughts, and insights. Feel free to comment below. Nijataka, Killmonger, Enemy and Exiled Cousin, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity. The brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi are immaculate in appearance and are known to be the ladies' man. They place their priorities on their self-image and a cosmopolitan lifestyle. These brothers are charismatic, well-spoken, ambitious. The noops are very dogmatic and sometimes antagonistic. But they are your captivating bad boys who do not like to settle for second place. In anything. All things considered, Najataka would be a kappa. Your first impression of Killmonger from the museum scene is, this brother has swag. He is very stylish, flashy, well-traveled, and he carries himself with an extra dose of confidence and entitlement. With his chiseled body, his fashionable outfits, and ever-changing hairstyle, Killmonger will stop at nothing to take over the throne. He is an intriguing revolutionary who has his own opinion on how Wakanda should be run and is willing to die for his ideals. M'Baku, enemy and leader of Jabari tribe. Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity. The brothers of Omega Sci-Fi have the bodies and instincts of a Spartan infantry warrior. They are renegades and typically remove themselves from the mainstream. These men love to have fun, love to tease the other frats, and take their brotherhood very seriously. And everyone knows these brothers are high energy, they love to travel in packs, and they are infamous for crashing a party. But at their core, they are good-hearted, loyal brothers who would literally and figuratively give you the shirt off their back. All things considered, M'Baku would be an Omega. This is obvious, M'Baku, the formidable leader of the Jabari tribe, is a schoolyard bully known as a troublemaker. He is pro-isolation, pro-tradition, and anti-technology. In fact, that whole tribe is a pack of cue dogs that enter every scene by barking loud and proud. And of course, they get kicked off the yard. But do they really care? Wakabi, chief of security and close advisor. Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. The brothers of Phi Beta Sigma simply step to their own beat. It's a challenge to try to stereotype the Sigmas because they come in all shapes, sizes, intellectual levels, and personalities. But what is really known is that they all have a reputation for being country for some reason. All things considered, 
Wakabi would be a Sigma. A royal advisor and close friend of the king, Wakabi is an important member of Wakanda's inner circle. Wakabi lived in the country with the border tribe to not only help protect the border, but also to maintain the disguise that Wakandans are poor, rural farmers. And it's quite interesting that this brother is quite fond of the color blue. Zuri, spiritual advisor. Iota Phi Theta fraternity. The brothers of Iota Phi Theta always seem to be popping up randomly out of nowhere. You generally don't realize they're on the yard until there's an official Panhellenic Council event. Most people confuse this fraternity with an international society, an African club, or just a band of family members. The IOTA founders were much older and much more mature than the average college student, and most of them were already longtime friends before they formed the frat. All things considered, Zuri would be an IOTA. He is important to the story, but it seems like religious leader Zuri only showed up when there were major events like tribal challenges, etc. He is one of the older and wiser members of the Wakandan inner circle. Zuri is considered family because of his close friendship with T'Challa's deceased father, T'Chaka. Zuri holds a significant link to the king's new history and ancestry. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.